All right, well, you know what? It's fine. Uh, Lysithia will just dodge. Excuse me, what is this 12 damage nonsense? Where's my 13 damage? You got a smash for that. Oh, I'm all about smashing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it comes to Mercedes. <laughs> it's a joke I thought you were gonna say immediately. All right, it's fine, Lysithia will dodge. Yeah, she can dodge two, what was it, 92%? She just needs to dodge one 92. Didn't dodge the first one. Look at that beautiful damage, though. You didn't dodge the second one, Lysithia! What are you doing? <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. It's fine, they told me no one dies in this game. Uh, that's basically true. Kind of. Alright, Dimitri, well now I have to, like, shoot you in the face because you've been a real scumbag. <laughs> Sly, I'm mad. What? Literally one experience point away. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that happens a lot. Hey, Dimitri, guess what? I've got a bow. Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, best up. You'll feel better. Who doesn't have a thing for Edelgard? Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. That didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Claude is just such a dick. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you not get the 2% crit rate just so I can see the sick animation. I right, well, doesn't always go as planned. The, yeah, let's the, this is go ahead. This is very standard my luck with level ups. <laughs> Wait, you don't want Claude's magic my to go up? Was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. All right, well, you know, all things considered, I'd say that went pretty well. Hanuman, I want to have a discussion with you involving sharp, pointy things. <laughs> uh, he can do some decent damage, so I'd be slightly careful. I don't think he's as scary as Dimitri, though. Double attack at Edelgard, but not Dorothea? That's madness to me. Like, my brain uh, can't comprehend. Uh, Edelgard axes and stuff? I think it's based on the it's it's based on the speed set? Is that existing well, I'm pretty sure yeah, it's the, the, I think it's the princess. speed set. Like, five speed above, oh, you get to double? Not discard that uh, I think it's four speed. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this would be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? Oh, minor crest of uh, Raiden. Yeah. Thank oh. you, former president. <laughs> he gives you is that what he gives you a little bit of health back? Dang it, I yeah. had it I had a joke, but I forgot it. Oh, very sad. Incredibly sad. Has, has sworded, I, I hit once, then she hits, then I hit, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Mm, being left on nine health is not good, probably. If she hits with that. Do you, do you have a heal? Oh, you do have heal already. I was wondering what was going on there. How much, mm, Hanuman, how much do you I, th I think she's going to, I think Edelgard's going to attack Marianne from that one. No, but I just, uh, like, I, I don't think oh. I find Hanuman attacking Marianne. Yeah, no, that's true. And I'm just going to heal you to full, and then oh, attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, And I'm, Edelgard has 59 yes. accuracy. I'll just dodge anyone. Yeah, that, I mean, that's also very possible. Could have been a worse level up, I guess. Yeah, also, also this game makes it uh, really easy if you ever want to know it. By what? Moving. Um, you cut out. You say can... it again. This game makes it easy if you want to know exactly how much damage you'll do take by like moving in uh they simplified it to uh where it shows like the attack strength of of like the the person and then like your defending thing um i'd have no to explain uh explain it to you so but it. basically when you hit i think it's x whichever one the top one is um when you're looking at everything you can see like all of your stats all the character stats it summarizes like what your attack uh, like your attack power, your attack speed, all that, and you can just well, use that and compare it to the enemies, and then from here on do, yeah, do simple math. math. Yeah, but it's remember, it's like way simpler than I, I, I feel like. I remember doing that. 
Okay. Oh my goodness, I they didn't tell me how well it would be able to reach Marianne. Thanks, video game. I don't think it's going to do that much damage. No, that's fine. I'm, good just gonna, I'm just going to like slowly but surely sack all of my magic users. <laughs> also, Dorothea missed a 70 accuracy. Let's go. Dorothea, Ooh. you better not do that when you're on my side. Yeah, she needs some... Just get her some glasses. She'll be fine. Marianne, you're so slow! Magic on Claude and strength on Marianne. Impeccable luck. I know, right? All right. A lot of murder is about to have to go down you here. Better be careful. Like, much killing needs to be done. All right, well, I die if I do that, so let's not do that. What if I do this? Hmm, yeah. Also not that great. But what if I do this? Still not that great, it turns out, actually. What if I do this, though? Not very great. Eventually, one of these moves I'm gonna do is gonna be like, ah, oh, that's the one. I'm pretty sure, no matter what, Marianne's gonna end up going down. Marianne, don't do that. Don't listen to Sly. He's a he's a really rude dude. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna give Manuela what she wants. I'm gonna smash her. Well Oi, Critter! Okay. Goodbye. Farewell. Ah, uh, welcome to Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> she does that. My own infirmary. Sorry, did I hurt you? Ba, 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 ba. Good level up? Yeah, I'll take that Don't level up. Much more than that. I think the lag's gotten slightly uh, worse. Manuela, eh? Oh yeah, that is good level up. What on I your stream? Focus, yeah, yeah. You move. might want to refresh. Yeah, yeah. I refreshed earlier. I might refresh again. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Well. Still in the struggling process of Marianne's inevitable death, but... Yeah. What if I just dodged a lightning bolt? Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. <gasps> just dodge, forehead. Alright, listen, I don't think you understood <laughs> when I... Yeah, I'm gonna say regardless, you're gonna end up having to use Marianne to heal by a list. Yeah, it's fine. Another step. I'm gonna be honest, I think Marianne will... Live, oh my god. Might live him? Potentially. Uh, uh goodbye, Dorothy. I love you. My my. The new professor seems very capable. It's not luck, it's fate. Fate indeed, my friend. Fate indeed. No matter where Marianne goes. Oh no, if she goes way over here, then he goes for Byleth. Yeah, and then he kills Byleth, and then you actually lose, because he's the only one... Well, him and Claude are not allowed to die in the tutorial. Oh, now, the, the game does not tell I'm, you that. I'm pretty sure. I thought it did. Pretty sure. If you look at the conditions of the battle, you can hit A on an empty space and look at conditions, uh, and I think it'll tell you. that sounds like too much work. Ah. Uh. Honestly, it's Marianne's fault for not dodging a 79 accurate move. It's fair. Alright, Hanuman, you've, uh, not gonna lie, been a, been a real dick lately. Can't help but notice. I forgot you can drag them to the character and click on it, and it shows you what they do to each other. Uh, I never use that feature, but yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm pretty sure I <laughs> use, I'm pretty sure I use that feature a ton when I play. Just, yeah. I find one way of doing things, and then I just do that. Because Very fair. how I, how I roll. Goodbye, Hanuman. Good talk, good talk. My goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. Alright, so according to Lone Wolf, the game put a giant pop-up on screen that said don't let Violet or Claude lose or something at the start of the fight. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll take the L on that one. For you. Yeah, it tells you victory conditions and defeat conditions or whatever. I don't read. Progress. Oh, there's, oh, well. there's a good level up, finally. Yeah. I saw your uh, Byleth also had gotten a good level up. Byleth always gets this good level up. battle is the Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. What if I don't like sweetness, Claude? What if I wanted a bitter victory? What then? Yeah, I don't know. You could have. Claude out here only thinking about his own... Uh, 
his own taste buds, no one else's. Really rude, honestly. It's pretty on brand, though. It is incredibly on brand. I do love that they show you the MVP at the end of fights as well. I, yeah, I do like the MVP. And then at the very end of the game, you can like see who was the MVP chapter throughout the entire game. It like gives you a, like a recap. It's pretty oh, cool. I didn't. I mean, I'm sure I did see that when I originally beat yeah. Black Eagles, but I didn't remember that was a thing. That's really neat. Yeah. Fine chaos victory. Thing. That was a brilliant win. Fine chaos victory tastes like barbecue. Happy. Ooh. I mean, I'd like catfish Actually, more than anything. It does sound like a really good victory right now. Uh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. What? I must admit that your tactics were masterful. Were you all standing off screen <laughs> waiting to perfectly synchronize stepping in? After I was done, did Claude, like, do a motion to signal you making that step in? Like, what What was the... Right? Okay, now wait a minute. Now I hate That's Raphael. That's for, for an ambush. I, I hate Raphael even more because I realize now that the shirt he's wearing is too small. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this sucks. It's because he's so big and muscular. <laughs> did, did they actually, like, did they make the two worst characters in the game and we're like, all right, relegate them both to the same house. They're both going to Golden I mean... I, I like to refer to this house as just like the misfits and like so it just kind of it makes sense I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle Dude, I just like cannot picture young Xehanort's voice as this character and I hate it <laughs> I noticed that too We just did what you told us and we won I love Florence is an okay you're, character by the end. You're right, Raphael. You did do exactly what I told you to do, which was to warm the bench for Lysithia when she got back. <laughs> As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our Professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes. Of course. Well done, Professor. Okay, now your voice sounds more familiar. Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Is it Haru, or is it just that they have the same cadence? It is! It is Haru, okay. And, which is really funny, because the only reason I know this is my nephew saw me playing Persona 5, and Haru talking, and was like, hey, that's Mary. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah, I like, I definitely hear it. But like, as I was hearing it, I was like, is it actually Haru? Or is it just because she's soft spoken and like, exactly like has the same no, it, like, cadence as Haru does? But not Yeah, no, it's one. the same voice. And there's it, there's only certain lines where it really crosses over where you can yes, tell. Of course. Um, but no, yeah, it's the same. Captain Gerald taught his child well. Which I think is neat. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. How did Leonie even get to this, like, existence of being in love with Geralt when Geralt has been missing for 21 years? Like, she's uh, it's, at most... It's, like, part of her backstory. Oh, okay, then. Like, you can... You, like, that actually gets answered. <laughs> I, honestly, that's the most astounding thing about this entire game. <laughs> A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? Exactly, Claude. So let's go fight some bloodthirsty mercenaries, and if you happen to die, it was for the sake of learning. <laughs> but more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. Oh my goodness, you're right. All of them talk about how they're capable of cooking. I oh, actually, I mean, I was joints. referring more to the blue After lines, all, but yeah, I guess finally aged Claude from the dining hall for just this occasion. I don't know that Claude cooks that often. I do hope you'll join us, Professor. I stole something, and I want you to be an accessory to the crime. <laughs> Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Gerald trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. 
Yeah, I, I sent Marianne and Lysithia to die, so we got really close to each other. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern move. Real dick move by the people who named the battle of the eagle and the lion, considering the fact that there are three schools and they just took two of <laughs> yeah. the names and left the third one out. I t I t I'm telling you, Golden Deer is just like, oh, these are the leftovers. Uh, they're like the slifer. They're like the slifer reds. You are expected to properly okay. train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. This uncultured swine didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX chat. I apologize for. Oh yeah, okay. I was like, I know this is a reference. I don't get. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. The reason I brought you here today is to reveal the fact that the church actually uses this school as a front for free physical labor. So this, <laughs> this month, you're going to go deal with all these bandits. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. I do not like the phrase newly birthed moon. Yeah, that, I don't like that either. It makes me a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like it. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. This line of dialogue from Seteth is literally me interacting with you, RTK, Michael, Shroom, literally anyone in our friend. <laughs> it's like verbatim my thoughts whenever we're like putting something together. <laughs> yeah. Oh I man. sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Oh, the thing in my heart? Yeah, that's the lolly that the internet keeps getting <laughs> involved with that the FBI is really not happy about. Yeah. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> You ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. So this has so much hair, it barely fits in her character arc, Diamond. That's true. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Alright, very nice. Say progress. Ah, oh, yes, give me a tutorial on movement again. I definitely need that at this point in the game. <laughs> Part one. White cloud. Man, it's gotta heart suck. String moon. Like if you're born in something as lame as the harp scene. string moon. And when there are things like Lone Wolf Moon or yeah. Wyvern Moon, etc. So many better places to be born in, yeah. Deaths took place under this moon. The people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grandar. 